Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren of course and today got something new here on my Fire and Water Cooking deck. It is the new Kavari H1 smoker, cooker, grill. It's going to be something awesome guys. I've been looking at these for a while and they're not very known about so I'm going to actually unbox this show you actually everything I got here. I did buy a couple extras, but I'll be right back and we'll take a look at the Kavari H1. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, if you're not familiar with this, uh, I think it's, I don't I think they pronounce it Kevary. Could be called Kevary, Kevari, Kevary, um, whatever. But I've looked at these for a while now. I, they kind of got on my radar about a year or so ago. I had another friend of mine was actually looking at them. And I guess the uh, person who designed these is out of South America. And he kind of saw a need for a cooker that was similar to a Kamado that had multiple uses, but wasn't as um, fragile or that had that was actually kind of a little bit more usable than a Kamado so and this is what this is what it is so if you look at this picture this is what it's going to look like and this one is called the medium rare version which just means it's got a red door and it's red and black so more like medium rare but it comes with two racks I went ahead and ordered another rack because there's actually three slots that you can put racks on. So this will actually give me more uh, cooking space. But another thing it will do is they just came out with this, uh, it's called a smoke controller, that um, they just came out with this for the grill. And what it is, it's kind of like what you have with your Kamado. These are indirect uh, fire uh, blockers here. So these are ceramic and they're um, for when you want to do indirect cooking. So I guess they didn't have these originally and they kind of designed these to go with it. But you usually would want to put them on one of these racks if you're going to use them. So that way I still have two racks to cook on if I'm using the, uh, the smoke controller here. But I'm going to get these all unboxed so we can take a look at it, guys. I'm not going to bore with you putting it together. It's supposed to be really easy to put together. So we'll see just how easy. Everything comes in the box. These are extra, like I said. But everything's supposed to be inside the cooker. We all would think we have to do is put the legs on and maybe put the top on. And that's about it. So I'm not going to bore you with that, guys. I'm going to take it all out of the box, put it together. Then I'll come back and kind of do you a walk around. All right, guys. So here it is. It literally only took me 10 minutes to put this thing together. And literally, all you got to do is put the, uh, the leg braces on the bottom. And it's best to lay it flat on its back not on its front or side just right on its back um, that way you're not going to bend any of these uh, latches or the vent um, we put the it has bolts and it's pre um, actually pre-drilled here the bolts just screw right into the bottom of the grill and uh, it's pretty easy to figure out one thing you do want to know is that you need to put your um, your casters which just screw right into the bottom of the legs the locking ones, it comes with two locking casters. It's always best to put those both on the front so you have access to it, which locks it into place so it doesn't roll around. Um, and that's pretty much it. You put your, your uh, legs on, put your casters on, turn it back up, side right side up. Then you can put your chimney here on, which is just four screws. And like I said, it, they're, they're all pre-drilled uh, so that the screws go right in. You don't need any bolts or nuts or anything like that. It does come with some washers for your bolts for the uh, legs to go into the bottom. Uh, and that's it, guys. Everything else is already put together. All right, guys, I wanted to speed this up a little bit. So I'm going to open up the interior. So your door folds down here. So you got a nice little shelf if you need it. These are stainless steel racks. It comes with two of them. I went ahead and ordered a third one, which uh, goes from 620 square inches to 930 square inches of cooking space. I also bought the smoke controller plates that are ceramic that help you do more of an indirect cook when you need it. But plenty of room in this thing. Uh, the racks itself are 15 three quarters by 19 and three quarters inches. It's got a nice, really thick 
felt a, a fiberglass gasket on the on the door and the fire door. You got your bottom vent and a top vent that are labeled with numbers so you can do high or low cooking. Um, very easy to use. We're going to try to put a smoke controller on it. Hey guys, one thing I forgot to point out to you is the thermometer is right here on top and it's right next to your um, chimney. So that's going to tell you pretty much the heat that's coming out the chimney, pretty much how hot it is right there by your chimney. Like I said, it's, it's stationed right here by where the smoke and heat are going to be going out of the cooker. So I guess that's a good thing. But like I said, I'm going to try to use my uh, Thermalworks billows with the uh, signals temp controller on here to see if it'll work. I should be able to use it. Um, hopefully I can put it on that uh, bottom vent without it messing up too bad. Uh, this is, it is kind of shaped kind of a little different than most other grills, but I'll let you know doing some cooks in the future. Fast forward again, guys. So here we go. We're going to show you the firebox. It pulls completely out. You got an ashtray that pulls out completely by itself. You got a really thick grate here for your fire and charcoal. It's going to last a long time, but it's really easy to clean up. You can actually load, reload charcoal and wood if you have to in the middle of a cook. It's got that thick fiberglass uh, gasket around the door. It locks up with a uh, latch pretty tight. It comes with this complete um, cover in a bag there and in your tongs. One of the things I really like about the versatility of this smoker is when you open it back up, you can cook directly over the fire that's in your firebox down there um, on the uh, stainless steel grate. So if you wanted to sear steaks, cook burgers and dogs, you can do it really easy on that bottom grate. And you can also still have open flame and cook on the higher grates as well. So if you wanted to crisp a chicken, stuff like that. So a lot of room in there, a lot of ways to do it. The only thing you're not going to be able to do, you can't get a rotisserie on here and you don't have any uh, ability to use a griddle, but I have other things for that. But uh, As far as versatility, this is pretty good. Well, there you have it guys. I'm going to go ahead and get a fire started in here and do a nice burn in to get off some of those oils and stuff from the manufacturing process. But check out the Kevery H1 on Amazon and on their own website. Thanks for watching. I'll do some follow-up cooks, but thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, check out Fire and Water Cooking Edible Creations, Seasonings and Sauces, and I'll see you on the next Fire and Water Cooking video.